say that now I am a child of God. Why remain a child of the devil? Why remain in the dark when it can come to the light? Friends, Jesus Christ wants to come into your life more than what you are actually wanting to let him in. The Holy Spirit wants to come into your life more than what you are wanting to let him in. What are you waiting for? I uh, say that you're being pretty rude by keeping Jesus Christ out of your life. I mean, if somebody was standing outside your life with half a million pound check, uh, I don't think you'll keep them waiting. It says in God's word, it is written, I have complete, this is banned in 50 countries. I have complete confidence in the gospel because it's, it is the God's power to save all who believe. All who believe. Not just in some. The Muslim can believe in Jesus today and they can receive Jesus and be forgiven. The Sikh and the Hindu. Those who are wicked, the Satanists, the witches. Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, Christian Science, Buddhists. The Hare Krishnas. All those who come to receive Jesus as Saviour will be saved. They're not saved now because they follow a different teacher. A different doctrine. Doctrine of demons. I have complete confidence in the gospel. It is God's power to save. God's power. God, who made the universe, who put the stars in their place. The God who made you in his image. The God who gives you the very breath that you have right now. It is God's power to believe, uh, it's God's power to save all who believe, first for the Jew, then for the Gentile, Gentile being us. For the gospel reveals how God puts people right with himself. God has put people right with himself. Can you believe it? God. Sinners that we are, wretched that we are, lost that we are, God has put us right with Him by sending His only one Son, Jesus Christ, God in the flesh. Do we deserve it? No. Do I deserve it? No. But God, out of His grace, God, out of His love, God, out of His mercy, for you, my friends, today, He can get you right with Himself. I don't know about you, but I've never been to court. But it's going to be my day in court. If you committed a crime in the land and you were to stand before the judge, do you think the judge is going to step down from his seat knowing that you're going to be 40, 50 odd years in prison or a life sentence? Do you think the judge is going to step down from the seat and say, don't worry about it, I will pay for that crime that they committed? Do you think the judge is going to step down from the seat and do that in, the, in this land? No. You see, we've committed a crime and we've broken God's heart, we've broken his commandments, we've broken his law, we've all sinned against him, yet God has turned around and says, you know what, I'm going to save those people by sending my only one son, Jesus. Oh yes. Son Jesus, his only son. Jesus, Jesus put his glory to one side. You know what, even the angels were amazed at it. Mm. Even the angels were amazed. God in the flesh coming down, saving the humankind, wicked that they are, lost that they are, they are hellbound that they are, and yet, Jesus has come down and died for your sin. Do you know what it means to receive Jesus as Savior? I tell you what it means to receive Jesus as Savior. I was blind, I was lost, I was dead. I was fearful, and I had no peace, I had no love. But I mean, I received Jesus. I had peace. I have love. The only thing that I fear is God. I'm doing my best on that bit. All right. But I'll tell you now, my friends, that when you receive Jesus, you are very rich. Because when you have Jesus, you have everything that you need. Not what you want, what you need. What you need. What you need. Mm -hmm. When you have Jesus, you are very, very rich. Yes. Because you have everything that you need, not what you want, what you need. And God gives you exactly what you need because God knows what you need. Mm. And I'll tell you now, if you've not got Jesus, that's what you do need. That's what you do need. 
I tell you now that when you receive Jesus as your Savior, I can tell you now that if you believe from your heart and confess with your mouth, you shall be saved. Straight away, God, by His Spirit, will come into you and you'll be a living person. You'll no longer be dead, you'll be alive. The eyes that have been blind for so long we opened up. You'll have a peace, you'll have a song to sing to God. Every day that you wake up, you're thanking for that day. Do not love the world. All right, chap. It says in God's word, do not love the world nor anything in it. If you love the world, then the love of the Father is not in you. Mm -hmm. It says in God's word, why gain the whole world but lose your very soul? Is gaining this world more important than losing your very soul? Is it really worth it? Because the things of this world, my friends, I want to tell you now. When I was in drugs, I went from one drug to another drug. Looking for the next high. You know what? It's all totally useless. Totally useless. I found no satisfaction in it. All that it was going to do was get me further and further down. But when you receive Jesus, you have everything that you need. Everything that you need. You don't look at the world anymore. You look at the people in the world. You reach out to them. And I'm reaching out to you. Jesus is reaching out to you, my friends. And he's saying to you people today, are you prepared to take a step of faith and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour right now? Are you prepared to get right with God by receiving Jesus Christ, knowing that if you only had a short lifespan left on earth, that when you stand before it, and you will, because it says in God's word, we will. It says in God's word that we will stand before God. doesn't matter what humanity thinks, doesn't matter what they say, doesn't matter how they look at us, I'll tell you. If God says you're going to stand before him, you're going to stand before him, game over. I've got a proper job, this is my real job. My real job is telling you that you need Jesus. That's my real job. My real job is to tell you that Jesus loves you. My real job is to tell you that when you stand before God, I want you to understand one day when you do stand before Him, that God wants you to stand before Him as righteous. He doesn't want you to stand here, He doesn't want you to stand before Him as condemned. Friend, take Jesus Christ as your Saviour. He loves you. No time for excuses, it's written. Man, there's no excuse. Just in God's Word, we are without an excuse. All the excuses in the world is not going to change the fact. The fact is we're going to stand before God. The fact is there's a heaven. The fact is that God wants you there. The fact is there's a hell and God does not want you to be there. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. Mm -hmm. Gave His only Son. He his gave His only, only son. son. Are you prepared to give your Son up today? Are you prepared to give your only Son up? No, you would not. But because God so loved you, because God so loved you, because God so loved you, he gave his only son. He gave his only son. He gave him. He gave his only son. And he gave his only son because he so loves you. You are the apple of God's eye. You are the beat of his very heart. God wants you to be with him where he is. God said, I am from everlasting to everlasting. And Jesus Christ said, I shall come again. And when he comes again, my friends, you want to be found righteous in the sight of God. And my friends, God so loves wow. you. Now he's pouring his grace upon you. He's pouring his favor upon you. He's pouring his mercy upon you. You are my friends, you do not know what you're missing out on. Oh, my friends, you do not know what you're missing out on. Come and taste what is good because the Lord is good. And he is good at that. Oh, blessed is he who stands before God knowing that their sins have been forgiven. Blessed is the person who stands before God knowing that they've been a washed by the blood of a lamb. Washed of all their sin. What a joy it is to know that I'm a child of God. What it is, what it is to have a joy of knowing that I no longer walk as the world walks. I'm not perfect, I never will be. Do I do wrong? Yes, I do. Am I forgiven? Yes, because when I run to God and say, God forgive me, He forgives me. But are you forgiven? Are you forgiven? Are you forgiven? I have complete confidence in the power of the gospel because yeah, it says in God's Joseph word that God's word is sharper than any two ways sword. It is sharper than you cut through the heart and we the soul here. and the, the sinews of every man, man woman and child. But I'm afraid if I was to give you a knife, you would not dig deep enough to get the sin out of you. There is something that you need to apply in your life. Don't encourage Halloween, but encourage Jesus. It will remain. It will still be there. You need something with power. You need something that's going to cleanse you. You need something that's going to wash you up your sin. You need something that's going to go deep in your life. You need something that's going to go deep into your soul. Something that's going to go deep into your heart. 
let the world know that something is going to flood your body, something is going to flood your mind, something is going to flood your very soul. The, the blood of Jesus, shine. the blood of Jesus washes you of all sin. It's only by the blood of Jesus that you can get right. It's only by the blood of Jesus that you can get right. And I'm going to sing this song to you today before I finish. And it goes like this. The only thing that can wash you is the blood of Jesus. And I'm going to finish this preaching and let me other people preach. But uh, this song I'm going to sing. What can wash away my, my sin? sin. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my hope and peace. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, how precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. Oh, the fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Glory, glory, this I sing, nothing but the blood of Jesus all my praise for this I bring nothing, nothing but, but the blood, blood of Jesus oh precious is the flow that makes me white as snow no other fount I know Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Glory, glory, this I say. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. All my praise for this I bring. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow. That makes me white as snow. Oh, no, the fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Lord, for your blood today that cleanses and washes the person that comes to you and receives you as a full pardon. We thank you, Jesus, that your blood is as powerful today. That's what it was shed on the cross of Calvary. We thank you, Jesus, that your blood speaks louder than that of the blood of Abel. We thank you, Jesus, today that you can wash the people of their sins, that they can come freely to the fountain of the blood of Jesus and be washed of their sin. Lord Jesus, I pray today that you bring the people onto the fountain of your blood that does not run dry. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would reach out to these people today by the power of your spirit, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.